Fantasy Zone is another cute em up like Twin Bee, but you can move in both directions. You can scroll right, you can scroll left. Where you control a cute little spaceship named Opa Opa. It was essentially the first mascot Sega ever had. And these worlds are insanely bright and colorful. I think that's the appeal of Fantasy Zone. Everything is very, very trippy. And it's unique pastel color palette and side-scrolling shooting. Uh, it was it was a very Japanese style game. What made Fantasy Zone a little bit more unique for the time was the freedom with which you can move around yeah. the level, similar to something like Defender. I like it better than Defender myself. I do like All Defender, right. but yeah, I, yeah. I like uh, you know shooting the little bases mm -hmm. and. Not only can you fly, you can also walk on the ground because your ship has legs. It's adorable. And what uh, about the patterns of those enemies? Oh my god, what patterns? They're just <laughs> totally random. Yeah, exactly, that's what I'm saying, yeah. Just a really imaginative, clever game and something that helped the early Master System library stand out from um, the early NES library. Well, Nintendo always had Mario and Donkey Kong. You had Alex Kidd and Opa, Opa. Do 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 do